This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast episode 445. Yes. And we are on location at the Pittsburgh Business Show. Whoops, I'm taking your computer, Kraus, uh, right there if you guys are on visuals. That's why there's one camera and I can't show you websites. Unless I just hold my phone up to the camera if you guys are joining us that way. Uh, So we are here, uh, of course, uh, Katie. Katie Dutters is with us. Hey, everyone. Uh, marketing sales specialist person of sorts with Same the Scarehouse and, and Pew Pew um, organizer. Yeah. Pew I, pew. I, we got to ask you about the Pew Pews. Yeah, other. we'll talk about the Pew Pews. Pews. Pew Pews. Pew Pew Pew. Oh, man. Wow. Off the rails already. Crazy Krause is with us. How he are is, you today? He is a technical person of some sort from Big Bank International. <laughs> Not. <laughs> that's not that's not the logo stuff, for it. I don't know what that sticker came from. Yeah. We have, we'll listen to that podcast later. Uh, but I'll just hold the mic. I'm up glad and you, nobody will see. This it. is this is your your shortest commute from work. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm literally right down the street. That's so this right in the great. Golden Towers of Big Bank yeah. International, downtown yes, that's right. Pittsburgh of some sort. Um, but my first live show. <laughs> your first live show. Wow, we haven't done this since like I think what a bar um, in, yeah. in Millville one time. Well, we've had a studio. We haven't had much reason to. Everybody comes to us now right exactly. so uh it's not like hey don't come to my basement let's do this in a bar where that guy's gonna like have opinions about technology in front of me and he's very drunk you know what i lied uh, my first live show was at a pizza place a pizza place wait the one at slice it's slice, you were at slice. i was oh. at slice oh it comes around well anyways this is the awesome cast and i think we only have an hour to do this so um this is the awesome cast you can check out everything at awesomecast.com awesomecast sorgatronmedia.com at awesomecast on the twitter subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on facebook and and the uh, YouTube. I'm hoping to get this right so I don't hear this from Missy, producer Missy later. She is not here. She, we are on our own. We are untethered. I'm scared. Uh, in, so, in so many ways. Um, you can also ask your Google Home and your uh, Amazon Echo to uh, play the awesome cast on either Google Music Podcast, TuneIn, or what other apps you have connected that, that may have the awesome cast on it. And also, thank you to our streaming partners, River Edge. PGH.com, carrying us Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. And the 405media.com, they're carrying us weekdays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, noon Eastern. And thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast, including at the Coffee Club $5 level. We're getting you guys some more videos on the Patreon, some After Darks. Matt Weller, John Dickie DeGore, and John Carmen. And our longest supporter at the Fan of the Show $1 level, Mike Fedor. Uh, and also, if you are interested in any advertising or uh, opportunities or want to be part of our studio audience when we are in our Beachview location, uh, you are welcome to join us in email. Producer Missy at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Um, so let's get into our awesome things of the week. Uh, so I, we're, <laughs> for Katie. Hi. Katie, I saw I saw um, uh, you know our friend our friend in the uh, in safety professional wrestling Ronnie Starks mm-hmm. uh, shared that you guys are doing a rogue laser ground uh, 80s night Knights. of pew pews. Knights of pew Knights of pew pews. <laughs> that's uh, actually that sounds like a whole other know, concept that really we really need to explore that <laughs> opportunity. So but. yeah, uh, this uh, Thursday and Friday night, so rogue laser grounds is happening at the scare. What house. are you on there? Did you get switched off? Oh, you're on. Okay. Oh hey. Can you hear me now? Oh, check one, two. Oh, oh, that's the wrong number. I'm turning myself up. This is you. Hi. I'm sorry. We got new hardware here. <laughs> uh, our mobile studio ch- changed up. We got a new Zoom H uh, 
uh, H6, and <laughs> and I, it's my first time using it. So, hi, Katie. Noob. Hey, there she is. <laughs> I'm a thing. Turn the right knobs. How about that? The magic happens. Uh, so, tell us about Pew Pew Nights. Pew Pew Nights. 80s, so, 80s Pew Pew Nights. Uh, so, if you didn't know already, um, at Scarehouse, we cleared out a giant section of the haunt, and we're doing laser tag. It's next-gen laser tag, so it's really pretty sweet guns. It was You've a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. We had some pro wrestlers come in with us, and it was a lot of one played a lot of Call of Duty, and you yeah. could you could tell. It was great. So this is the last weekend. Going into this weekend on May 19th is the last day for Rogue Laser Grounds. Because, you know, <gasps> haunt season. Haunt season. Got to get it ready to exactly. scare people. Boo, spooky, spooky. So this Thursday and Friday night from 7 to 9, we are doing 80s night. Mm -hmm. So we got some pretty sweet 80s playlists. And the guns are going to make some uh, retro pew pew sounds. <laughs> Wait, so is it going to... I don't know why this is a reference in my head. But is it going to sound like the laser guns from uh, Masters of the Universe? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Dolph Lundgren, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's, so so we, we talked about this before. You guys did, did you guys do something where you changed up the audio and everything for, for Star Wars? Star Wars, night? yeah. We did uh, Rebellion Weekend last weekend. Yeah. And we had a couple days where we had... Star Wars music, the guns made blaster noises. That's it was great. so much fun. That's great. Man, it was, the only thing, I, 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 feel, I feel like this probably wasn't in there. I think the only thing that probably was missing from that was the uh, the, the, Willem, the Willem yell when oh, somebody yeah. falls off a bridge or something. <laughs> ah! That you hear on like every movie, yes. like everybody uses that, and sometimes just tongue in cheek, mm -hmm. like it just, <laughs> <laughs> just like I killed somebody, like it comes from your own gun. Yeah. But you know, uh, not again. Just suggestions for the future for okay. Rogue Laser Guns Year Two. <laughs> Is it going to come back? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know maybe. yet. Okay. I don't know. We're not let in on those meetings, Krause. <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious. So maybe you know. Maybe. Maybe. They can't tell you everything. Yeah. They can't tell you what's coming up. Well, because haunting there. season only lasts for so long. Yeah, oh, true. But they just did the basement this weekend. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, we had a basement a event this weekend. We're wow. out of control. Yeah. yeah. They did Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, I got to be a bush. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. excellent tree. Anytime you need it, anytime you need some foliage that could scare people, <laughs> count me in. Um, scary foliage. That's scary. all you. Yeah, I didn't have to yell. Oh, I guess I growled a little bit. You know, grumble, you got to save the voice. Anyways. So yeah, it's uh, this Friday or Thursday and Friday nights. Um, awesome. Check out the Rogue Laser Grounds Facebook page for all the info. Highly, highly recommend yes. it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out yet, you have to do it. Krause, you got to get down there. Yeah. You got to get down <clears> and do this thing. I'm yeah, out of town. Unfortunately, so I the 80s would be perfect for me, but we have. Garth Brooks this weekend. Garth oh, Brooks. Yeah. Are you gonna do a Garth Brooks That's night? That's all my wife. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, she loves, I am not she putting loves down Garth. I'm not putting down the Garth Brooks. Yeah. I, that was, that's some good stuff. I wish I could get a chance to see him. Uh Crazy Krause, what is your awesome thing of the week? I here? installed Android Q beta on my primary device. I well, feel like there's a James Bond joke that goes along with this. <laughs> so I have to tell you though, although sorry. If yes. I show you this new gesture, he's showing me this gesture. Th does it remind know, you of anything? He's just sliding it up. Does wow, it that looks like. This does is, that remind you of anything? It looks like yeah. It looks like the the expose <laughs> from iOS. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. They're not, they've let's just How say many? they've borrowed yeah. some borrowed. things. Yeah, well, it's okay. It happens both ways, right? Oh, right. So, and, but I have to say, it's we're in beta three now, so mm -hmm. I felt confident enough to install it on my primary device. Okay. Um, and so far, it's going very well. As you know, this is what I do for Big Bank. And I like to stay in the know because, you know, it's going to affect our users eventually. Absolutely. Because it's going to come down and you're like, how do I do the thingy? And you're exactly. Like, you, you, you and do if this, I don't know. You do the thingy with your thumb this way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how do you and write that And that is because they changed all, it's all gesture based now. Okay. There are no more buttons okay. at the Ooh. bottom of the screen. So okay. it's all swipes. Ups, down. He's showing me. Right. He's showing me. Yeah. It, it's a. Uh, yeah. Oh wait. So there's no. There's no back button or no, anything. Yeah. At the right. Now. It's all gone. Wow. And what is this device that you're running on right now? That's the Pixel Two XL. This is the Pixel Two XL. Mm-hmm. Uh, awesome. I, I mean, it looks it, and it still looks like it feels snappy. Yeah. It's not bad at all. I yeah. can't, I don't have any real complaints. That's it what, did uh, take a little time to get used to the gestures, but once you get used to it, it was kind of like the transition. From the eight to the ten, okay. you, you know, I still haven't done that yet. I pick up my but, wife's phone, like, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> right? I mean, you've been in on it. Oh yeah, been, yeah, yeah. So, what did it take you, Katie? A couple days, week? Oh, it probably was a week before yeah. it was like I was fully trained. And right not. before so, your brain gets used to the so idea. Is it weird when you pick up an old old school phone? Yes. I, I got the last of the old school phones because I just did not want to 
roll with that yet. And then well, you start flipping up in different spots, and you're okay. like, there's nothing happening. Why isn't there anything oh, happening? Cause, oh. Yeah, because I'm used to from up here, and you're down low. It's all Man, weird. It's like those hot spots on the Mac. Um, but anyways, <laughs> oh, I hate those things. I turn those things off right away. Um, I don't think they default anymore. Okay, so you are on Q. Yes. What is Q? Do, we have, do you know what Q no stands name for? Yet. No name yet. It's We're still in beta. I don't believe they've Quan, announced a Quan, name yet. Quan Quat. Quan Quat. Com, com com, no, Com Quat is something else. I, I don't think. know. Quat Quat. I don't know. Some Q name. Some Q name. Why don't they just call it Q after the James Bond thing? Listen, yes. No, that needs to happen. Why can't that happen? Yeah. Seriously. Um, I, so my awesome thing of the week is international. Uh, <laughs> wow! I uh, so so I, I worked the SAE Formula event in Michigan, mm-hmm. and um, there was um, uh, a representative from China coming. Wow! SAE China. I don't know if he was the president or something, but he basically did. He, he's responsible, I believe, for the same thing that we're doing here in America with the competitions. These are events where the the students are are building and designing and racing, or you driving these cars um, in a, in a comp- competitive way. Um, you know, really big competition, especially Formula. I mean, this is the one Elon Musk has talked about about how he gets hired at SpaceX. Uh, and I got to hang out with my SpaceX buddies again for the video nice. production. Uh, but anyways. Um, but uh, uh, so so they're like, well, we need a translator. And, you know, who knows how to speak Chinese in the middle of southern Michigan? Mm-hmm. Oh, good luck. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, well, if you're in Pittsburgh, I know which neighborhood to go to. But here I don't know about out here. And we're not in Detroit. You know, maybe, right. maybe something different. We're at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan. It's not Brooklyn like you're thinking. <laughs> Let's yeah. put it that way. Um, it, 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 anyways. So they were they they were kind of like haphazardly like using voice to text to translate to each other, mm-hmm. and I was I was like, and my SAE representative was uh, trying to work through it, and I'm just he's asking me if I know Chinese. I'm like, well, dude, download uh, Google Translate. He has a Google phone. Yeah, Google mm-hmm. Translate. And there's con- conversation mode. We talked uh-huh. about this before, and I and I did play with it a little bit with. Um, you know, one of our one of our neighbors in the office uh, who's who's fluent in Spanish, and you know, like, hey, let's try this conversation mm-hmm. mode with like the Google Home, and uh, it, and this was like, you know, I don't think he knew any English. There was a uh, somebody with him that he knew, knew a little bit. Zero. I English. think he knew zero English. Wow. From my impression. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and and to watch them, he downloaded it real quick on his phone. Um, put it in conversation mode, put it in Chinese, you know, had to download the package, I think, but it, it, it might have come down right. with it. Um, and then they were having a conversation, their conversation about, like, he's asking a question about how do you normalize, you know, the, the scores of da-da-da-da-da, and, and then he answers it, and then, and then, you know, he's responding, yeah, that's what we do in our competitions, too. It was really cool to see that in action. That is great. With, like, not, and, and you know, is there really more separate of language barriers than Chinese to English, right? Like, yeah. like it's just a whole different characters everything right um and to see that work and and they were i mean he must have spent an hour and a half with the guy wow. that's and impressive yeah so it's well you know that was one of the things the pixel buds mm-hmm. were supposed to bring they were if supposed you remember to. i don't know whatever happened with that but that mm-hmm. was the google sol- answer to the you know to the iphone airpods right mm-hmm. and it was supposed to have that inline translation so yeah. you wear them in your ears it's like the universal translator kind right of thing, and, and you that's know. coming i mean i have nothing else these are it right? right this is the this is the you know we've gotten to that point you know i'm not afraid to go to you know a, a, I think it's easier to go to different countries and do that. And there's lens uh, that translates signs and everything. Yeah. Um, which, you know, years ago I was trying on the Google Glass, you know, going into my local grocery store that's a very Spanish, you know, <laughs> to the point where the things Why, on the shelf. Why, yes, it is. Sometimes the things on the shelf are not in English. No, uh, they are you've not. been in there. I've I, been I there. I still love the one the one lady wrestler that, that thought that it was a pinata factory Ooh. at night. A what? She thought it was a pinata factory. <laughs> it was like, what? I was like, no, that's our grocery store. Uh, they have pinatas. Um, but uh, with like Disney princesses and yes. stuff. It's it's Smurfs. I wanted yeah. to get the Smurf one for Ooh, my mother. Cute. Anyways, uh, but uh, it was, again, really cool to see that. Um, and uh, and I'm a, uh, guys, I'm about two weeks away from doing the auto drive challenge. Ooh. And we're going to see some AI cars. Um, if, if you want to look up the auto drive challenge podcast, level four on, on your podcast catcher. Yeah. 
Um, we, we've actually had some really good conversations over there uh, that, and I, I know I was sharing them with uh, some of the, yep. you guys on the Awesome Cast threads, um, just to see if uh, you know it, it's something that would catch anybody's interest other than the people that are at the competition. A lot of interesting stuff with people at G- General Motors and things like that. So I love our, our the motorsports geekdom is at high level right now. It's so great. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. Anyways, hey, we do a few things um, around here. Sidekick Media Service. Katie, we, Katie, we've worked together on some projects mm-hmm. uh, from sporting events to music video production to conferences and everywhere in between. The team at Sidekick Media Services has you covered as a sidekick to your superhero project you wear the cape we wear the funny pants uh in that relationship uh what what i can't wait till missy hears this one what next big thing can we help you with you can find out more see the projects that we worked with of course things that we've done with our friends sa international that i mentioned here uh uh, on the show uh over at sidekickmediaservices.com and thank you everybody uh, that uh, goes check that out and we're working with. We're with geez, I, I, I seriously dig everybody we work with over there. It's yeah. it's it's a lot of good crews, um, and and we we get to work on the coolest stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, so let's get into. Uh, of course, you guys, if you're joining the Awesome Cast Facebook group, you guys uh, are sharing a lot of stuff in there with us, and we really do appreciate it. Uh, a lot of great conversation and and everything. Uh, so. <laughs> First of all, our friend Brandon in Kansas City, uh, I remember he was uh, he was sharing with us a link about the uh, giant car vending machine. Of course, we have one off of 79 next to the Top Golf, mm-hmm. uh, alone in the I'm getting a call, alone in the middle of <laughs> off the highway. Yes. Uh, but these Carvana vending machines, uh, apparently <laughs> Apparently, it's done over there in Kansas City, and there was a video on their local uh, ABC9 affiliate uh, about it. I, I actually watched the video. I, did, I think we did this off show uh, a few weeks ago of somebody with the, I guess they give you a big giant coin. We got, Carvana should get ads on this show at this point. That's awesome. Because um, it's just like so cool. Yeah. So we can afford to get a Carvana car. Uh, How cool <laughs> would it be to buy a car from a vending machine? Yeah, though? Yeah. Come on, guys. I, and they're not the only one, too. I, I saw another ad of some sort, or maybe it was a car that drove by. It was another online uh, car buying thing. Mm-hmm. And this is, I mean, this is a big ticket item. You're, mm-hmm. You know, people aren't buying this often. Uh, well, we aren't, I don't think. No. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what year is your car? What yeah. year is 2004? Car? No, 2012. <laughs> uh, nine. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm I'm balling over here with my 2012. Yeah, look at uh, you. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> that has Bluetooth. I'm, I'm thankful for that. Then I get CarPlay and all my rental cars. And God, they gave me a Suburban. Wow. I, I, they upgrade, quote, upgraded me to Suburban. What an upgrade when I had to go get gas. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It was like, I'm like a one person in like a freaking 10 seat Suburban. <laughs> what am I doing right now? I'm just like. You could go on like the j- big pizza run. Does anybody stuff. need yeah. a ride? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, anybody need a ride? Please, please. I am so lonely in this giant car <laughs> and I don't know how far back it goes. Thank <laughs> you, sensor technology, or I would have been in trouble. Um, I'm just not used to it. No. Giant cars, <laughs> but um, but no, there's. I mean, this is this is one of those things where you know I don't want to go to the car dealership. It's the worst thing, and then they put that little thing, and I, I still haven't taken the border off of my car, even though it's been four years. You know, and now they're getting free advertising, and I hate it. Uh, <laughs> But um, I let the Steelers one go with my last car, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, the, 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 it's it's kind of just the the, the futuring of, of all these yeah. industries, mm-hmm. right? Oh, well, yeah. and let's be honest. People really don't like dealing with car dealers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They're the you next. I mean. This is a disruption. Right. Listen, I just want a car. I want to put my money down, and I'm and I don't want to haggle. Yeah. You know, this is why I don't want to go back to uh, Thailand either. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, it, 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 I think it really kind of. It, it, it's interesting. Did I tell I'm looking you the last for- time I bought a car? I actually, for my stepson, mm-hmm. we drove the test drive to the Kia dealer. To see if they could beat the price. <laughs> Man, you were playing the game. Wow. Let me tell you, the sales wow. guy yeah. about had a heart attack. He's <laughs> like, wait a minute. You're here in a test drive. And I was like, why, yes, I am. <laughs> That's amazing. That is a bold move. That is a bold move. All right, uh, Katie. All right. We're going to say this one out loud here. Um, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Danish candidate places election on ad uh, ad on adult site. And Punter has a note here: new use of quote adult sites for political ideas. 
Oh, I'm in public and I'm opening this link. Hope nobody's. Oh dear hope nobody's Lord. Oh, it's, it's safe. I checked. Is it safe? Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's the AP. It's, yeah. it's okay. It's safe. Oh, they still got ads though. They want me to download their app. What the hell? I heard a little bit about this. So mm-hmm. apparently, yeah, he uh, a candidate there. What was the what was the site that he uh, uh, used for this? You, you, yes, you it's me this? on Pornhub. It's what? Yeah. On his official Facebook profile, Olson confirmed that he was responsible for the ad going, yes, it's me on Pornhub. What was, wait, would, does he have a porn video or did he put videos up there? I think he's advertising on it. Just straight, he's straight advertising he placed, on Pornhub. Yeah, he placed an ad. Okay. Bearing the party logo and encouraging people to vote for him on one of the world's top adult websites, Pornhub. Well, if that's your demographic, I guess, you know. Well, you know what? There's probably a lot of demographics Well, you got to go where the people are. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and the people are there. Yes. On Pornhub. <laughs> I'm just going to say Pornhub as long Pornhub. as I can in this conference to see how many people look over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just smile. So, uh, I mean, actually, honestly, <laughs> Katie, have you considered uh, uh, sponsoring Scarehouse on uh, Oh, we'd probably Pornhub? do really well on Pornhub. You'd do great over there. Yeah. You might, you, there'd probably be interesting crossover opportunities. Yeah, I wonder how much it costs to advertise on Pornhub. It's <laughs> yeah, going to be a lot. Now you're doing research. Now, how have we not thought about this? I don't know. For all the Pornhub stuff that we do. I I mean, not what we do. Okay. <laughs> that we talk about on the show. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the clarification. Yes. Advertise uh, on Pornhub. All right. Well, you'll be seeing awesome cast ads very soon on Pornhub, apparently. Uh, again, if you guys want to... Introduce us to awkward conversations like this one about advertising on Pornhub. Please go to the Awesome Cast group over on the Facebook group. Uh, for, uh, awesome Cast group on Facebook group. I'm I putting the wrong words oh, in the wrong orders. Are you seriously pulling up Pornhub in the middle of this conference at the convention center? <laughs> <laughs> this woman is on Pornhub right now, guys. I'm we using should, your weefies. We should have a lot more walk-bys at this point. Yep. Somebody tweet. Somebody tweet from the... Uh, maybe maybe Jack Hoff will tweet for us. <laughs> Get some people over here and say, hey, there's Pornhub discussions happening. Don't you want to expand your marketing efforts? I mean, I talk about marketing right over there. There's, um, uh, oh, what's her name? Ch- uh, uh, is it J- Darius Chisholm? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's giving a presentation over here while we're talking about Pornhub. Uh, guys, want to give a shout out to somebody who's been supporting the show for a long time. A friend on, on the West Coast. I'll actually see him, I believe, Friday night. We're going to go to a ladies wrestling show together. Oh, that'd nice. be fun. Uh, our friend Alex Cars putting together a puzzle of design and media from branding to print and digital products uh, projects. Uh, Alex can do logos, merchandise, websites, and even photo and video projects. Uh, check out alexcars.media, K-H-R-S, alexcars.media to get started. He's done a lot of great projects with us, uh, uh, collabed with us on some psychic media service projects. Um, you don't have to be out on the West Coast to work with him. Hey, there's this thing called the Internet. We do some work together. Interwebs. <laughs> like, like Katie never even sees me until I make her show up for Awesome Cast, right? Yay. Yay. Because <laughs> uh, then we'd have less awkward situations like we just had. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have a lot of stuff going on out there. I am excited about this. If I can get geeky for a moment. Invader Zim and Rocco's Modern Life movies are coming to Netflix. Are they, are they not like Nickelodeon properties, apparently? Like who who's running who's running those? Um, but yeah, they're going to be follow-up movies to those. Um, I'm digging deep into you '90s kids out there, uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's happening. A long-awaited oh. spin-offs this summer. Viacom. Said it is Viacom. Sold its rights. It sold its rights to the two. Yeah, to Netflix. To Netflix. Well, Netflix let's be honest. Yeah, you know, they're there to make money, so they mm-hmm. got that Ninja Turtle money now. <laughs> yeah. So you know they they're just like, well, we don't need Invader Zim. He's just the thing we had because we didn't have Ninja Turtles. Right. You know, so um, sorry. You know what? What I really want, speaking of which, I'm going to deep cut here for a moment. Uh, if you were a uh, hot, hot Topic kid like I was, um, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac and Squee? No? Nobody? Yeah. Nobody? Nope. Nope. Uh, sorry. The creator of Invader Zim. That was the comic oh, book okay. series. The, the comic book series is that he had before. I re- if you like Invader Zim and want something just a slightly more twisted, I recommend picking those up. I'm sure they're available on some z- digital platform. But, um, no, that's really cool. So, wait. So, they're still, like, labeled with Nickelodeon, apparently, on these uh, these trailers? Or, no, these are these are old videos. Um, oh, no, there are trailers for it that they, they were at San Diego Comic-Con last mm-hmm. year. Oh, I need to watch that. Uh, it'll make me just want to go back and watch all of the Invader Zims. Doom, 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 doom,
I feel like that's our show title, but I feel like we've definitely done that before. Oh, probably at least 10 yeah. times. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Krause, I know you have a couple things in here. Uh, what, what do you have? Well, you know, one of the things that I noticed today that I don't think has gotten a whole lot of uh, play yet and if we put on our tinfoil hats from a few oh, weeks ago. Oh, I left ago, them in the studio. Does um, anybody have any tinfoil? But Disney takes full control of Hulu oh, after a Comcast man. deal. That doesn't mean they won't still be involved. Yes. But Disney taking over Hulu, things that make you go, hmm. What? Well, what could ha- what what could potentially you know Disney's making a play? I thought you were going to start singing. Was lot, why I was, for I was a whole wedding. lot of um, you know Marvel products and yeah. things. You have to wonder mm-hmm. why would they want to take full control of something like Hulu? Well, I, I well it just I think it just happened in in process of this acquisition. Right. Right. Um, now now there have been announcements with uh, NBC talking about uh, th- this week that they're going to have a their own online app channel that will be ad supported. Right. So NB- like Comcast, Xfinity, the, the NBC are, are making their own plays. Right. Right. Because their own lo- online plays. Right. They're, they all want to be part of the game here. Right. Um, so. Eh. But it just comes to show you, Sorg, like how long, how many oh, wait, they did- monthly fees can you pay? Yeah. Well, well, and that's why we have we we're talking about. I'm sorry, this wasn't the court killers today, and I talked about because um, between Pluto TV, NBC having a free channel, uh, there was this idea that they were they were opposing that um, uh, Disney took the last vestige of "I'll pay money for your content." Uh. Like they like it feels like this is the limit of it. They have the best deal going, so everybody else is looking for free plays, right? Because everybody's trying to replace turning on the TV, mm-hmm. right? So. Well, but everybody wants to still turn on the TV. Right. They just want the content. Right, right. Or you have the yeah. waterfall TV and, right. and things like that. Um, I mean, it, it, you know, we're all kind of like working with budgets here, and there's plenty of these things that we're all concerned. Yes. I'm still waiting for the time where I can sit down and plow through all this stuff I want to watch on DC Universe and, and drop, or even just watch Star Trek Discovery. I haven't seen an episode of it. I've wa- I go out to see the first season. That yeah. was it. And it's just like I want to drop you know, the six bucks for a month and plow through that, right? But in the meantime, like you're know, kind of busy, and I don't, I don't know, uh, Katie. What do you think like, about these like kind of free options uh, if they have like maybe a couple things that you're interested in? I think it's fun. I think it's good because I don't know. Like I feel like I'm subscribed to a million different things for right. different reasons because I right. want certain things, certain places, and yeah. it's getting to be a little old. And I, I guess, then you're almost like getting to the point where it's like maybe I should just have cable and have everything. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly I completely agree with you. Like how many of these subs- uh, subscription services can you run mm. until you finally get to the point where you go, well, wait a minute, how much was cable again? Mm-hmm. We asked for this for so many years, yeah. guys. We wanted our a la carte. Although I have to tell you, when HBO, when Game of Thrones is done, I will be turning HBO back off. It's included in my AT and T plan, so I just kind of roll with it. Although. It was weird. I, I saw the uh, HDMO, HBO documentary on mm-hmm. Andre the Giant popped up on WWE yeah. Network. Hmm. So now I have two services I can watch that on. Interesting. So it was in association with WWE, so right. it kind of mm. makes sense. I saw Andre. I'm like, what, did they do another Andre special? And it was like, oh, no, this is the HBO one. It's like it's the Fire the Festival, one. just like a different version of yeah, Andre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From a different angle. Well, I, I was, and there's already well, been. Andre is a pretty big guy. I, so. He is. He is. There's a comic book, too. Yeah. Uh, talking about his story. I recommend that. A very, very good read. Are they are they applying for us <laughs> over well, there? Well done. Uh, they must have caught up with the Pornhub stories. Um, anyways, uh, what else do we have? Or Kitty, did you have anything extra in here? You do. I do have a thing. There's one. Yay. It's, this is hard just on a phone looking at the notes. Oh, you're fine. I'm sorry. You should have offered you my laptop. Look at oh, my lappy fine. top. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at this. I can read I'm all the things. I'm just reading the articles over her shoulder here. Yeah, it's fine. Look at this. Big pictures. <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, Match.com is now offering dating coaches to help its members with, like, profiles and dating questions. Where are you hanging out at Match.com for? Are things okay? Yes. (laughs) It's lovely. Um, so Match.com is, um, instead of just being a chat bot, this is actual people, professional coaches or certified matchmakers mm-hmm. who are helping these people, you know, either set up their profiles or kind Wait of... Wait a minute. There's a thing called a certified matchmaker? Yeah, apparently. I think my wife needs that A job. little bit of psychology, I think, is involved in that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so. Some, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Um, so, yeah, so it's either like maybe you're not sure how to set up a good dating profile or you're just like, I don't understand what's, how do I date? 
at this point in this modern world. And uh, but right now it's kind of I think it's just in New York City. It looks like um, mm-hmm. they're rolling it out there, and it'll be available nationwide by next year, 2020. Um, and it's free as they're kind of testing it out. I think it sounds like. And uh, but it's a subscription. It will be a subscription based in the future but uh yeah it's pretty cool i think it's pretty neat because it's like uh especially if you're new to the world of dating like yeah. how you date now or new divor- d- d- divorcees that have mm-hmm. been out of the game since before tinder was a thing um wow wow that's interesting um i couldn't imagine paying for a mag i guess this has always been a thing yeah. just with not without not with apps they were just like find singles now or like, <laughs> call this number and Thanks. and you know speed dating and all those things like you know 20 years ago before we did all of this right mm-hmm. uh it's 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 interesting yeah because so. they're trying to keep up with tinder because tinder's just killing yeah, everyone in yeah the, the wait match. a minute i thought they owned tinder uh yes i thought i saw that that they're match, all family okay cupid match group it's, match group is the porn hub of dating yeah, plenty of fish, match, Tinder, our yeah, time, <laughs> okay, oh, keep wow. hinge, pairs. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they're all together. Wow. So the only one you're really see, not seeing is Bumble. When you're married, you know. And yeah. You, oh yeah, you just can't keep up with all these all right. games. I would, I, I would, I, you know, every once in a while, you're just like, I want to do a fake profile on Tinder just to mess with people, nah, right? Just as a social I experiment, have no every desire. once in a while. You know, just to know what the kids are up to. Um, <laughs> that was a weird statement. Uh, let's see. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah. Uh, Missy actually dropped a few more in here, including that Invader Zim uh, one to help uh, help us out. Hey, uh, uh, Google Podcast comes up on uh, is is now on iOS and desktop, um, but only when you Google a podcast name. Wait. Okay. So you can now access. We're not talking about an app, but if you right. So if from the web. if I were to Google what from the web or from the app. So I'm going to pull up Google. I'm going to type, let's say, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Because Awesome Cast, unfortunately, we have some Look branding Look at you issues. with that one finger typing. What? Me? we got to so give you good. some points there. What? 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 You're pretty good at that whole one finger I've typing. I've been doing this for a while. <gasps> yeah. Oh, just in case. I'm going to go back to this real quick. Oh, back to dating. Yeah. back. If you're in Dallas, Texas, you can be hired as a dating specialist. Oh, for nice. Match. Well, they're looking for to work with clients both verbally and via online chat. But it's a whole list of things. So, yeah. You, you think you you're a desktop browser. Have to be in the desktop browser. Or yes. So if you think you can do that, go to Match.com. Hmm. What are you What are you trying to pull up? Can I'm I? Help trying, you? I'm trying to type Wrestling Mayhem Show in Google search and see if it comes up with the podcast. Mm. Maybe Maybe it needs more important podcast than us. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're trying this in the browser. See what happens. I'm not really seeing podcast stuff, but also we have a lot of other media here. So maybe that doesn't. I see nothing. Try Try something like um. I don't know. Uh, something from NPR, I guess. Yeah. Would that work? This American Life? Isn't that one? This American Life, maybe? Podcast? This American Life. Boink. Oh, it just comes up with the work. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Oh, it just went to the site. Oh. Whether it was a site or... Um. American Life. (laughs) Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, I wonder if it gets confused when it's like... Oh, this week in Yek, huh? That's interesting. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. So you actually, so you get the little players at the top. Yeah. Oh, it comes up under the website. Mm-hmm. Very okay. Nice. So is this a thing where I need to set up my website? Like I just did. You know. Well, no, that's a mobile browser, so it may not work for mobile. But you might have to be Newsletter. on the desktop version. No, no. Here it is. Uh, oh, this yeah, week in tech, you got twit.tv and has uh, several recent episodes and play buttons. So Buttons. now I got to find out how do I set up my website so they do this. Yeah. Like I imagine there's some kind of connector for this, right? Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, mm-hmm. But but still, I mean, it's good because I've been concerned because I, there's no easy way for me to just look like, hey, oh no, Awesome Cast comes up. I, I typed Awesome Awesome Cast podcast to be sure. Oh. But if you see, it'll go down. You'll see the Apple podcast listing actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's not even the Google podcast. It's the well, no. So it, so it's funny. It says Apple podcast, podcast under but the it's heading. Serving. But when I hit play, it's going to the 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 Google podcast page, and all my show notes are in there and everything. Wow, this is that's pretty, pretty nice. awesome. Ah, be oh, sexual, what? Awesome Cast four forty three, and you got it too for uh, a Scarehouse podcast. But it comes up Apple Podcasts, but the play button goes yeah, to Google Podcasts. Yeah, if you Podcasts. hit the play button, it takes you to Interesting. Google. Let's Interesting. Let's go. Okay. Ta-da. Oh, let's go into my headset. That's why I can't hear it. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what? I keep tricking myself out on that. Um, anyways. Oh, geez. What else do we have here, guys? Any stories that interest you? Um, the Google 
or I'm sorry, the OnePlus 7 Pro came out. OnePlus 7 Pro. That's a $700 full-featured hero phone. Hero know, phone. You know, quote, Saying unquote. a lot of words that don't make sense to an iPhone kid like yeah, me. Um, it's like the Pro, ver- <laughs> you know, the, so, what, the so, bigger... OnePlus was a very straightforward, right? And it's but it's only seven hundred dollar device. Okay, full featured. It's got all the bells on the whistles and yeah. all that good stuff. Okay, um, it's it's you know it's a very good device. Um, if it, I've always said that I don't understand how long this crazy insane price thing can continue. You know how long. I'm sitting here with a twelve hundred dollar phone. I'm still paying off. Exactly, <laughs> and, but I do and a I'm lot just with as it. bad as but you I mean, are. This yeah, is a thousand dollar device. But you know, I'm creating media. You know, you right. work in this space, but like but just it's for the still a thousand dollar device. But also, I just spent three thousand dollars on a laptop. That's true. So this is the world we live in, right? Yeah. I mean, how much was that Surface Pro? That's true. Well, this actually, this isn't a Surface. This is a Google Pixel. Oh, look at that. It's a Google Pixel. Yeah, Pixel C. Oh, didn't even notice. Yeah. Oh, because it's got the little 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 rainbow thing on the the back. Yeah, you you remember that. I didn't see the rainbow. Did you see the rainbow? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so it's not even a Surface, but, you know. Okay. But, uh, but again, it's, it's if you're looking for a new phone. Wow. Something's talking. Something's happening. Ooh, oh, the, last session yep, of the day. If you, but if you're looking for dun, a new dun, device, dun, dun. Oh. yes, this is one I would strongly recommend you taking a look at. Um, it's a very flagship quality device mm-hmm. for a, a very good price, seven hundred dollars. It looks shiny and it'll slide and, right off my table. <laughs> <laughs> and com, my, you know, com, my, there's a six gig, eight gig, twelve gig, gig options. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's a great phone. Okay. Options. If Good I was options. in the market, I would probably it's, highly look at it's it. It's straightforward, not a lot of crud on it. Exactly. There you go. There you yep. go. Let's see. What's going on there? Jagoff, how's it going? Hey. We should get him out here since yeah, he was, yeah, we gotta give, we gotta give props to you, Jagoff. I say he's the man behind the curtain, pay no attention to him. Uh oh, he's walking away. Well maybe we'll get him later. Uh but uh <laughs> on that note, uh let's uh give a shout out, one last shout out. To slice on Broadway. Uh, we're not eating the pizza tonight. We'll catch that a little bit later. Um, if it went with the Awesome Cast after party as we premiere this episode tonight, uh, there's that. Uh, but uh, go check out our friends at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. I did that without the on screen. I guess That's I did amazing. that for a while without that. I'm getting. It's almost like I'm a professional at this. Uh, they've been supporting the, the our podcasting efforts at Sorgatron Media for a good a long time uh, with uh, the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza. Uh, check them out in Carnegie, PA, the OG original location in our neighborhood, a beach view right on the tracks, I, and uh, as well as the East End and. PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. I haven't done this well copy for a while. Uh, so go check them out. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. Follow their social media and let them know the awesome cast sent you. Uh, so this week, hey, shout out to our friends, uh, Pittsburgh Current. They'll be having another podcast this week of some sort. I'll be out of town. Uh, a lot of other uh, great stuff going on with Wrestling Mayhem Show. And, of course, like I said, um, uh, Katie over at Scarehouse, you got some stuff going on there. <laughs> So, did you guys recently have a podcast? I guess that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, and then probably a new one this week, too. Mm-hmm. Hmm, fancy. Um, again, shout out to the uh, Pittsburgh Business Show here. Did a walk around here. A lot of really interesting businesses. A lot of enterprise stuff. A lot of, um, you can get some knives over there, Ooh. apparently. Uh, <laughs> and, and I actually, actually, here's a cool side story. I actually reconnected with, um, a while ago, you know, I always talked about, we, it was kind of a lead generation when I was driving a Lyft. Um, I met the person that um, works for a local nonprofit, and I'll, I'll give him a shout out. Dress for Success uh, Pittsburgh. It's a, it helps women um, um, get pr- appropriate business clothing so mm-hmm. they can get interviews, get better jobs, um, and a lot of other services too. Um, but uh, uh, you know, we had a discussion about about podcasting and, and, and helping out for stuff. Uh, so it was cool to reconnect and and, and uh, you know check in with that. So uh, a lot of cool stuff here uh, at the Pittsburgh Business Show. If you are checking this out here on Tuesday, there is one more day of this Wednesday, May fifteenth. 
Uh, come on down here. There's a lot of great presentations. I believe you can see a listing of them over on the website, which is probably pittsburghbusinessshow.com, if I'm not Ooh. mistaken. I know I had that in here, but I want to make sure I have that for you. We'll have that, of course, in the show notes. Does it say there? No, that's somebody else. <laughs> no, this is it. Is that it? Pittsburgh Business Show. There you go. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh Business Show. Go Google it. Uh, and uh, come on in here and check it out. Yeah, PittsburghBusinessShow.com. Register online. Yep. And you can drop Good job. in. Uh, so I know I understand even tonight there's a lot of networking uh, opportunities. I believe a friend of the show, uh, the former Rosa Mendez of WWE that we've had on our uh, other programs, is going to be here uh, uh, for some events and uh, talks and things. That, well, one of the groups she's in is, is sponsoring uh, some of the stuff. So a lot of cool stuff here. Some, uh, it's great to do a, uh, a, a thing in here in David Lawrence Convention Center. It's very, it's a lot bigger than our studio. Yes, uh, just a, a of, little bit, but almost as much natural lighting. <laughs> so we're not blinded. We're okay. There you go. Uh, Kate Dutter is on the Twitter. Yep. Kate Marie PGH on Instagram. And I will read you this magazine. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what? Tell me about the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. They're here. Hey. Business Services. Hey. Yeah. Um, and Crazy Krause on the Twitter. Yes, sir. And whatever that podcast is on your on your sticker. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Uh, but thank uh, you, whoever. Thank podcasts. you, to them. Thank you, to Jagoff, uh, for uh, uh, helping us get connected here and uh, dropping down and, and doing the show. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Um, you have been our awesome audience. Uh, have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.